Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. With this video, we are starting up with a fresh chapter of oral histology, which is pulp. To begin with, we'll be discussing pulp and anatomy. Let's get started. So, dental pulp is defined as a soft, highly vascularized connective tissue of mesodermal origin and which is present inside the dentinal wall and communicate to the PDL through a pical foramen. Okay, so it is basically soft, highly vascularized connective tissue, also known as the heart of the teeth. It is of mesodermal origin present inside the dentinal wall. It communicates with the PDL through a pical foramen. The ectomesenchymal condensation enclosed by the concavity of the enamel organ. This is the enamel organ. Here there is certain ectomesenchymal condensation which is enclosed by the concavity of the enamel organ. Okay. This leads to the formation of dental pulp. Now if we talk about pulp organs then in humans in deciduous tooth 20 are present whereas in permanent tooth 32. So, a total of 52 pulp organs are present in humans. Okay, now moving on to the anatomy of the pulp. See, if we divide the tooth into two parts, it could be crown and root. The pulp which is present in the crown. Okay, this is the mesial side. This is the distal side of the tooth. This is the roof of the pulp chamber okay see coronal pulp that is the coronal portion of the pulp which is present inside the crown this portion of the pulp it is present inside the crown this is known as the coronal pulp okay it has got six surfaces the coronal pulp would have six surfaces first is the mesial and the distal then comes the roof of the pulp chamber after that is the floor of the pulp chamber. Along with that, it may have the buccal or the labial surface and lingual or the parietal surface, which cannot be shown in the front view. With the increase in age, the size of the pulp chamber gradually decreases. Okay. Then we have the pulp horns which is the extension of the pulp in the cusp. Extension of pulp in the cusp is known as pulp horn. Number of pulp horn depends on the number of the cusp. In mandibular first molar, five pulp horns are present, whereas in anteriors, only single pulp horn is present. After that, we have a pulpal opening. See, this is the cervical region. This is the root apex. Now, this is the apical foramen. Okay. So, the radicular pulp extends from cervical region till the root apex. Its number varies depending on the type of the tooth. It could be one in anteriors, whereas men numerous in multi rooted tooth. It becomes narrow as the age advances. It communicates with the PDL through an opening. The radicular pulp communicates with PDL through an opening which is known as the apical foramen. Initially during the formation of the root, the apical foramen is wide with an limited epithelial diaphragm. Jesse Jesse root form hoga, the apical foramen narrows down. What is apical foramen? It is an opening at the apex of the root by which the radicular portion of the pulp communicates with the periodontal ligament. Its diameter in maxillary tooth is around 0.4 millimeters, whereas in mandibular tooth it is around 0.3 millimeters. The shape of the apical foramen keeps on changing due to the functioning of tooth size and shape depending on the functioning of size and shape of the tooth. See, this is the cementum, pulp, dentine. Here we'll have PDL. Now, this is the apical foramen. 
okay it has two openings one is the minor diameter and one is the major diameter with an hourglass shape okay so the narrowest portion at the terminal terminal end of the pulp space can you see this portion narrowest portion at the terminal end of the pulp space this portion it is minor apical diameter whereas the terminal end of the radicular pulp by which it communicates with the periapical space is the major apical diameter there is approximately 0.5 mm difference between the minor and the major apical diameter okay now there are certain accessory canals which are the accessory openings from the radicular pulp into the pdl so these are the accessory canals okay the canal which open into the furcation area these they are known as the furcation canals whereas the canals which open onto the lateral surface of the tooth for contacting with the pdl is known as the lateral canals the these accessory canals they are most numerous in the apical third of the root and they can be formed if during the formation of the tooth dentine koi bhi blood vessel is encountered in that area and dentine is formed around that blood vessel so the accessory canals would be formed there now what is the significance of these accessory canals they provide an extra source of nutrition and blood supply to the pulp whereas there is rapid lateral spread of the infection from the pulp to the pdl this is it about the anatomy of the pulp in the coming video we'll be talking about the zones of the pulp stay tuned keep visiting thank you